your heroes. So for instance, if you're using a hero like Bolt Tusk, it's not going to work with her. She negates it out, removes it. Anything positive that your heroes do, she negates it for all, everybody except for her. So that's kind of important to notate. So what's really cool though is you can use her Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Guardian Gazelle. She's dancey prancy all through the neighborhood, giving all sorts of hero specials and make y'all dancey. She gets 751 on her attack, 741 on her defense, and 1324 on her health. Overall, statistically, that attack power and defense are ridiculous. Health, pretty ridiculous too. We got a lot of good stats here. She is running at average speed. She is part of the new Guardians of Tell Talk event heroes, which means that she does give you a bonus. Between two, three, four, five heroes, they get anywhere between 5% and 20% defense and anywhere between 4% and 13% healing. So you put some Guardian dudes on your team, you get some healing and some defense. She removes all dispellable and undispellable status effects from all allies except the caster. The caster regenerates 612 HP over four turns. For four turns, all allies except the caster start dancing the dance of spirits. They get 100% attack, reduces all received damage by 50%, Gives immunity to new status effects. If the caster dies, the dancer receives 80 damage and their mana is reduced by 100%. This effect can't be dispelled, but gets removed if the caster dies. So a lot of words, so let's explain all of this, okay? This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try this game out, all you gotta do Go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 100,000 silver, 50 gems, 10 mystery shards, and one free champion, Hexweaver. All your treasure is waiting for you right over here. First and foremost, when she goes off, you cannot use her in conjunction with other heroes that are going to give you positive effects on your heroes. So for instance, if you're using a hero like Bolt Tusk, it's not going to work with her. She negates it out, removes it. Anything positive that your heroes do, she negates it for all everybody except for her so that's kind of important to notate so what's really cool though is you can use her with status effects like uh for instance uh, if you're using a hero like kill hair so you could set her up so she gives everybody the attack bonus up and then you fire off kill hair and kill hair won't give you the negative side of effects because the because guardian gazelle is active so you can really pair her with a lot of heroes, whether it be negative effects. They pair really well with heroes that are in the uh, in the Easter event because those give all negative effects to your heroes. But just keep in mind, you can't use her for positive effects on your heroes. And what's really cool too is that if they try and throw anything negative at your guys, she negates that too. So it's kind of a, an equal playing field of no buffs, nothing received, nothing like that. But it sets it up to where she's the only one that gets it. Now she does refill her health. Now the very important thing to understand is if you're battling against her, you want to attack her because everybody else, they have minus 50% on their damage. So you don't deal as much damage. But when you attack her and kill her, it makes it so everybody else loses all of their mana. And they also take 80 damage. But that's a new thing that they added to where you take a little bit of damage. So if she does go off, don't freak out. Start, stop throwing stuff at the other heroes. You want to kind of kill her unless you know for a fact that you can kill the other hero at minus 50%. That's really important to notate. 
So she is a druid class hero, which means that she is battling it out with the likes of potentially Vila, also Zimkitha as well too. So you might have that situation with emblems, but overall pretty solid hero to put some emblems on. When we look at her Titan grade, she is going to get an A on Titans. This hero is really effective. This was close to an A+. This does get thrown into the debate of using kind of the, the high attack power hero. So she could potentially take the place of a Miki or a Tarlac or a Ranveer, Wukong. She could potentially take that place, especially in color specific incidents. Uh, but the thing is, is you want to make sure that you don't have any heroes that are giving positive effects to your heroes. So for instance, you can't use her, again, like I mentioned, with Bold Tusk, because that's going to negate it. You can't use her with Miki, because it's going to negate it. It doesn't work that way. The, but the 100% attack power is really good. It's essentially like a Miki, but you're also reducing the amount of damage that you're taking. So really solid on Titans. Could definitely be used in that spot. When we look at her offensive grade, she is going to get an A plus on offense. She is disgusting on offense. I've seen, like I said, a lot of people will pair her with some really cool heroes to where they make it so that, that um, so she deals a whole bunch of damage, the negative side effects, they don't happen. And you can really set it up so your, your team stays alive a lot longer. Do the whole dancey, you deal on a whole bunch of damage. She works really, really well as far as keeping your old team alive and makes it so that she doesn't get impacted by negative side effects from the defense. So that's a really cool hero. I absolutely love her on offense. A lot of really good success that I hear from everybody. When we look at her defensive grade, she is going to get a B as far as her tank grade goes. The reason being is when she activates her dancer special, she's making it so that all the other heroes are essentially really vulnerable and you can kill her in the tank position pretty easily because like I said, the reduced damage is only to your other guys. So you kind of want Guardian Gazelle in the background doing her thing while your other guys are the most important things staying alive. So if she isn't that great of a tank because she is such a liability. Uh, it does help that she does regenerate. That does help out. And then the buffs, that also helps out as well too. But overall, I'm not too big of a fan with her in the tank position. She does get some credit absolutely in the flank position because you could potentially make it so... Obviously, you're not really pairing or you're not really worried or stressed about her individually because you're more preparing for the tank itself. And then when she's going off, she's setting up so your whole team is staying alive. She's recovering health for herself and she's making it so they deal a whole bunch of damage. 100% attack is a lot to be adding that to your hero specials as well as to your regular damage that you're dealing. So it's really a powerhouse hero. I do love this hero in the flank. Maybe not the best flanking hero, but still a really solid flank. When we look at her wing grade though, she is gonna get a C grade, obviously because she is contingent about having all your other heroes alive because that really maximizes her ability. So if she's in the wing, she's probably not gonna have the same effectiveness. I don't really recommend putting her in the wing. If you are gonna put her on defense, you can definitely put her in that flank position. Possibly if you're really in a stretch, you could maybe throw in her tank, but I'm not really looking at that. She is gonna get an overall grade of a defensive grade of an A minus. She has a lot of usability being in that flank position. I've seen it, it kind of hurts a lot. It's kind of one of those weird heroes to where you're not seeing her a ton on defense right now because Vila and uh, Zim Keith are taking up a lot of emblems, but you might see in the future that there might be more of a rise for that, especially with her reducing the amount of damage by 50%. When we look at her weekly raid grade, she is gonna get an A on rush attack, might possibly be into an A plus. She's absolutely disgusting. Now running at very fast speed, making so all dispellable buffs, everything like that is in place. It's not going to be a big issue at all to where you're just reducing damage, you're dealing a whole bunch of damage. Uh, really awesome hero on rush attack, pair well with a lot of heroes. Uh, when we look at her buff grade, she is going to get another A grade there. Again, obviously she's removing all buffs, anything like that, it doesn't matter. Any negative things that you're going to be applying to your guys, not going to happen. And you're setting it up so you're just, you're, you're pounding them with huge massive amount of attack power increase so she is going to get in another a on buff on her bloody battle she is going to get a b grade there reason being is she can't regenerate uh, at that point and she is a very much a vulnerable hero in that place so with her not being able to regenerate health you can easily just target her kill her off obviously the, the reduced amount is pretty pretty awesome but when she dies there's definitely a negative effect to where all your other heroes lose all of their mana 
So you really want to focus on killing her if she is going off. I don't recommend her on Bloody Battle. She is going to get an overall grade of an A+. She's just an absolute powerhouse on offense. She's incredibly useful on Titans. This is close to an A, A+, but I still think that she gets that slight edge just because she can be paired well with so many other heroes and she's quite devastating when she goes off. So I really love this hero. Thanks so much for watching this content. Please make sure you subscribe, turn notifications on, and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new hero breakdown on Guardian Gazelle. This galloping gazelle is just prancing through the woods giving everybody a dancer special. She's a dancey dance.